Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Lisa. And in this video, you're going to hear and see references to the JLT oil separator. Well, we're excited to announce that as of December 2021, all JLT oil separators will now be J and L oil separators. Same great product with a different name. Thank you for your purchase. Today we're going to go over the installation of the JLT oil separator for your 2.7 V6 EcoBoost Edge Sport. Our kits come complete with fittings and the correct length hoses already attached so it's easy plug and play. Also uses factory style quick connects on the ends, aluminum custom made bracket, and stainless steel screws. Tools you're going to need for this is going to be a Phillips head screwdriver, 13 millimeter ratchet socket and extension, as well as a 10 millimeter socket ratchet and extension. First thing we need to do is we need to remove the engine cover. There is a 10 millimeter nut right here and a 10 millimeter bolt right here. You can just lift up and pull it out. All right, this is the hose that we're going to be interrupting with the separator. There's a little tab on the back side. Release it and pull up. You can swivel this one around, feel it in the back, release it and pull up. And this is what it looks like. It's going to release that clip from the fitting and allow you to pull it off the car. We're going to use this bolt here to mount the bracket. It's a 13 millimeter. Have the logo facing forward. Now we're going to go ahead and install the separator. Just run the lines back there for now, use the supplied screws, and mount the separator to the bracket. These also have a factory style retaining clip. You just push in if you ever want to remove it. We're going to take the hose from the J side and we're going to route it underneath this wiring harness and make the connection on the valve cover. Take the other one, connect it to the manifold. Right now we just need to reinstall the engine cover. You can see that there's this support tab right here. Just kind of bring it around this wiring harness. Lift it up and over like that. Put it back into position. Line it up with your oil fill and your stud and your bolt hole here and use the hardware and put it back on. Now that you've put the oil separator on, it's a good idea to go ahead and check it at about a thousand miles. That will give you a good gauge of how much oil your car is collecting. Every car is going to collect a little bit different amounts, but at a thousand miles, you'll see if you're a third of the way full, you could go full 3,000 miles, but take a look at it at a thousand just to see what your car's doing.